Riding out Storm Eunice in my garage. Right. Here's the workspace with all my tools in a bit of a disarray by the looks of it. What have we got? Some uh, rear brakes, Fabia. Front brakes for Fabia. Cheap, cheap ones. Nothing special at all there. What have we got? Jump leads. Wind back tool. Protective glasses. Put them on there. Ah, these are good. Definitely, definitely good them. Metal polish, auto salt, that's good stuff. Plenty of insulating tape. What else we got? Oh yeah, Loctite, average thread locker. Well, that's my brake tester, brake um, fluid tester. What's that? What's that? Oh, it's a nice old can. To use that. I'm worth a bit, that. Permatex. That's really good stuff for your brakes. And these are good. These uh, magnetic tool holders. You can get a load of stuff on them. I've had them a number of years now. I think they're great. I think I might get some more sometime. I can get loads of stuff on them. And then, of course, you've got to have the obligatory shelves with all your stuff on. And I've got mine in old uh, ice cream tubs. We'll see a lot of ice cream. Ideal, those. And I've got uh, o rings, fuses. What are them? Oh, sleeving. Electrical connections. And I've got uh, emery cloth. That's ideal for cleaning your brakes up. What I've got here. Bag pan bonnet panel clips. Let's have a look at that. What I've got in here. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, look. Spare fuse holder clip things. Oh, they were the extra things for the jag, for the sump. Door panel clips. Uh, under tray clip, the one on the on the body. Now oh, these are these um, T25 screw holders for the body. When you screw the uh, in a in a wheel arch linings in, I've got a few of them. Oh, little plugs, little plugs on top of the scuttle panel. I've got some different ones. I'll do a video on that. Different ones that are on it. These are from a golf, I think. And he's got a little screw on the top, but they're still shallow, so they should look alright, those. So, some old clips, switches, screws. Right, shove them back. Exhaust brackets. I'm sure you don't know about them. Now these are the best type of all exhaust brackets. These type. These are what most garages put on. That's good. So I'd recommend these. So 
that uh, little Dremel thing. Yeah. Intermotor, what's that? Oh, I know, I think that's the radiator cut out. Yeah, I'm going to fit that. I'm going to see if I can fit it without taking the radiator off. Should be able to do it. Do a video on that. Whee. Go in. Lose the washer. Right. Right here. Windscreen repair kit for chips in your windscreen. Oh, that's quite good actually. That's from Wilco. Hard plastic glue. What's happened? Oh, the fuses have gone. We've got a storm brewing at the moment and oh, the power's come back on again. It's tripped out. Now I have my fences down. Contact adhesive, that's just as good as the proper stuff. An electrical pump, I was going to use that for my bike. Ah, this is what I've been looking for. Panther Pro. That is a windscreen jet wash tool to clean the jet washes out. It's got a little pick on the end that's just the right size to clean your jet washes and I realign them as well. Except for you can't do that on the Fabia because they're just fixed. So that's for other ones. Philips H4 bulbs. Right, yeah. Well, that's the centre console bit. Just the uh, opening. And the tray. The big tray thing. Fabia handbrake. Fabia windscreen wiper, rear windscreen wiper, motor. There we are. Body panel in a trim panel remover. That's quite good. It's just a wedge basically. We'll get the trim panel off easier. I thought it was alright though, was. better than a metal screwdriver handle, nice and soft. Right, what else have we got? Uh, you've got to have a tester. So I'd recommend if you've got a space in your garage or your shed to get a bench and make sure you get one of these because these are vital. A decent uh, vice that you can do just about everything on it. And also these things, old fashioned G clamps. Well, I don't think they make them anymore, I think you have to get them. Record G clamps. Brilliant. Oh, it's got my welder down there. Electric welder. No, I want a MIG welder, I ain't got one of them yet. What we got here? Disc brakes. Invented disc brakes for a Fabio. I'm going to put them on in a bit. It's that air filter, um, pollen filter, I think. And that's. Um, what's that? Oh, drop link. Yeah. Put one of them on again. They're, they're quite a good make. What's that? Uh, oh, that's not that. What's that? Superb rear. Oh, I know what this is. Automatic rear. I can see me there, but uh, move that. <laughs> Stick that back in. You got to have a decent angle grinder, of course. Chainsaws. <laughs> Aha! Ah, that's where it is. 
my old um, cassette radio. There you go. Got to use those. What else we got here? Uh, router. Oh, this is this is the oil I've been using. I've been using this oil. Uh, it's quite good. Man oil. Uh, all right, so we've got beer. So up here we've got uh, various stuff. Yeah, got my Bosch uh, filters on the seal. Got some uh, rust neutralizer. That's what I've been using. Carb EGR cleaner. Oh, I've recently used that stuff, that's quite good for uh, gluing shoes back together. Uh, if you do your exhaust, just any old uh, fire cement, good enough, put a bit of that on, won't get any leaks. Uh, there's your uh, AC gas. What's that? I think that's just upholstery cleaner. Math cleaner. Uh, oh, that's a body panel sealant. Chain lube. Brake cleaner. French brake cleaner. What's that? Extreme winter auto gleam clean wheels. Silicon sealant. Back to black tyre shine, carpet upholstery. What we got? Oh, these are good. These are good. Gunson's auto bleeders. Quite handy those. Nice size. WD forty. Uh, you've got to have a decent um, soldering iron. It's a heavy duty one that. Anyways, I hope you found this interesting. At least it might give you an insight into upcoming videos that I'm going to be doing. But I can't do them while trees are falling down and my fence is all wrecked. And I'd just like to say a big shout out for everybody that's subscribed to the channel. And I really appreciate all these supportive comments. And I look forward to doing some more in-depth how-to videos in the near future. And on that note, I'll see you on the next video.